What's up everybody, it's your boy Ragdoll back with another episode of this Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last video, we got our A Gym Badge and we fought our way to the, you know, to Victory Road. So in this one, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight through there. And let's just hope we can keep it deathless, you know? At least keep this episode deathless. I did run back. And I picked up Snowball. I know in the last video I said I'd evolve it. But I was like, let me get my boy Snowball some love real quick. You know, before I do decide to evolve it. Um, I don't remember that well. How to get through this victory road. I think it's a straight shot though. And then would you look at that, the levels, level 34, wild Pokemon, and wow. Wow, I can't believe I couldn't get away from that gold bat. I think there's some items up here. Yup. I bet the other one is a rare candy. Calling it right now. Wow. And I guess this is a, a new encounter place. So, I mean, there's that. And... I probably should do the wild battles here. Oh, a max revive. Too bad, we don't need that. Um, I probably should do the... Wow! I'm gonna use a repel. But, um, I was about to say, uh... Mmm, level 40, mmm. One level away, that thing I have Earthquake, you know? Hold oh, no, on, wait. I don't have an Onyx. Okay. This is probably a good thing. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm gonna calm down a little bit. Rage. All right, this should work. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. But okay, all right, we can, we got, we got the potential to catch an Onyx here. At first, I think I was going to be mad for you know another encounter, but uh. Okay, I mean, of course, it doesn't stay in the ball. Throw a great ball. I mean, I really don't want to use my master ball on an onyx. Like, let's be real. All right. I mean, at least now I have a substitute for Graveler if, you know, it dies, I, I'd use an Onyx. The Rock Snake. And we already know we're going to name this thing. <laughs> Dildo. Because that's what all Onyx looks like. No. 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 Kid viewers. Baby viewers. <laughs> um hmm Onyx is indeed a rock snake. I'm gonna call him Pebbles. <laughs> I need to grow up. I do. Yes, I will be the first to tell you. I need to grow up. But to be safe, let me use a hyper potion for 20 HP. And let's just keep it moving. Okay, I'm using a repel after this. Oh boy. And... Okay, super repel. I got a couple of them. All right. All right, all right, getting through, making my way downtown. Oh wow, an HP up. 
I mean, uh, I'll keep it moving. Um, I mean, is this really a straight shot? Something tells me I don't supposed to go that way. So, I won't. Did I really just get through Victory Road that fast? Yes, indeed I did. Wow. I mean, okay, I'll take it. I really thought this Victory Road was a lot longer. But, uh, I was wrong. Of course, I was wrong. Sneasel. Sneasel versus Snowball. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of mistakes with Generation 2. <laughs> but using Fury Cutter on my Graveler is probably the biggest one. <laughs> but let's go ahead and switch out. We got, uh, we're gonna switch into Brobat. Because I don't wanna take a Razor Leaf. Yeah, this is incredibly easy. Incredibly easy. And out of all the Pokemon my rival could have stole, he stole Chikorita. I mean, like, bro. I mean, you know. Advantages and whatnot. Like, that's cool and all, but... Come on, bro. You stole Littlefoot. I'm gonna be honest with everybody. Chikorita doesn't get you know that much love it doesn't and you know low-key rightfully so you're level 38 with razor leaf like take that into account but let's switch back out into snowball because i think at this point snowball just you know destroys the rest of this guy's team look at that thundershock get out of here scram skedaddle I should show off my super cool fire punch, but you don't deserve that. A Graveler named Snowball is pretty funny. Imagine, like, making a snowball and you got rocks in it. Now, where I'm from in Wisconsin, we actually, you know... I'm not gonna say we did it on purpose. But... There may have been a couple of uh, couple of rocks in those snowballs. I'm switching out this time because I don't want to take a side beam. Future sight, that's it. I definitely could have killed it in one hit. But let's just use Dizzy Punch because we ain't scared of Kadabra. Unless Kadabra has Fire Punch. Nah, of course it doesn't. All right, Jinx getting a getting a knockout with some Dizzy Punches. Nice. <laughs> Future Sight looks like agility. We're gonna get the one hit KO with Ice Punch. Called it. We didn't need the critical hit. We didn't need that. Now, here's the question. Do I want to leave Jinx in? No, hell no. Now let's switch out into uh, Fleek Bird. Shadow Ball, see, I knew it, I called it, and Jinx wasn't gonna be able to live that. Oh boy, confused, right? Nice. Well, alrighty then. Wonderful. We beat Punk Butt. Yeah, bro. You you lack love, man. Honestly, you you just you really just suck. I mean, that's just putting it plainly, you know. 
he's like, hmm, until then. But would you look at that? We done got through Victory Road in 10 minutes. So with that being said, I am going to, I guess, call it a day right here. I'm actually just going to put this part right before I fight the Elite Four and Champion because there's no point in making this a 10 minute video. I don't want to do that. So when I level up all my Pokemon, evolve them, do whatever I want to do with them, we're going to continue on from here and fight the Elite Four and Champion. And that's going to be the first half of this Nuzlocke done. So yeah, so yeah, y'all sit tight for me, we're going to boost these levels up, and we're going to do some damage in this Pokemon League, so sit tight with, for me. Okay guys, this is the moment we've been waiting for. I got my team leveled up, we're all looking good, um, the level cap is 50. I didn't want to put everybody on level 48 because I don't want it to be too easy at the same time. But this is the moment of truth right here. The team is all together. I got as many good hold items as I can or that I remember to grab. I got the uh, Never Melt Ice on Jinx, boosting up my ice attacks, the Quick Claw on Golem. Charcoal on Flareon. Um, there's really no reason I have the Amulet Coin on Crobat, but I got it there. The Pink Bow to boost up that quick attack. And Fralligator holds nothing. Yeah. Fralligator holds nothing. But, um... I think I can do it with this team right here. I think I can do it. Um... We got, uh, uh, we got a couple of move changes. Um, so this Jinx is different from the other Jinx. So I went back and I learned that as a Smoochum, Jinx or Smoochum learned Psychic on level, I think, 37 or 31, something like that. Either way. got another smoochum and let it learn psychic and then boom we got a jinx right here with a uh, psychic dizzy punch is an egg move and body slam it learns uh on the level up we taught golem fire punch i think it already had it before i did the um after i came out of victory road but just in case i didn't um, so yeah, as you can see, I got a golem, so I did a trade, I taught it Fire Punch, on level 41, it learns Earthquake. I should have did the same thing I did with Smoochum, and just breed it all over again, but at the same time, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be too broken, like, golem with Rock Slide, that's busted. Flareon looks the same, except, I am going to take away Bite for a uh, shadow ball yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna take away bite for shadow ball crowbat is still the same uh fleek bird still the same and fralligator I'm actually gonna teach fralligator ice punch later I might need bite for now still but we're we're gonna we're gonna teach you ice punch a little bit later but let's just hop into it. Yep, my levels are looking good. My team is looking good. We're at the Indigo Plateau. Man, am I nervous. I'm extremely nervous right now. And I know for the most part, this should be, you know, dare I say easy, you know, but I'm not. But let's just hop right into it. The first guy is Will, he uses Psychic types, so I don't have a Dark type, 
but I'm going to use my psychic type against his psychic types, and hopefully it works. This battle, or the first two, maybe three battles, should be easy, just because, like, my levels are so much higher, but I'm not going to... I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say it should be a cakewalk. Because when I say things should be easy, they never are. Okay. Okay, alright, missing the lovely kiss. I love to see it. Two body slams should be more than enough. And of course it is. And that's why I didn't level everything up to level 50, just because of uh, the potential to learn attacks. And I'm kind of stuck right here. I think I, I just... I just use Ice Punch. So, and the reason why I would use Ice Punch over Body Slam and Dizzy Punch slow up okay this changes everything I was literally about to say slow bro doesn't have the best special defense but after an amnesia not gonna lie I I had that coming all right let's just switch out into Fraligator and uh hopefully a bite could kill from where it's at I'm not going to say anything about that. Okay. Okay, alright. Not going to lie, that slow bro is extremely scary. Executor. He's gonna fire off his psychic. This I know for a fact. Or no, no. It's gonna use like Giga Drain or something. And then it's gonna use Psychic. Okay, let's see what we got here. Reflect. Let me just kill it with a fire blast. That fire blast should be more than enough. It's an executor for crying out loud. Alright. And just one more Exatu. Alright. Flareon is a bit bulky. Yeah, there we go. It ain't Vaporeon, Umbreon bulky, but it's bulky. I think I think these uh, Elite Four members, they got two max potions each. So I'm just going to spam that bite. Oh boy, Confuser. This is, uh, that's annoying. Come on, don't hit yourself. Alright, that's it for Will. We did it. We got through. Easy peasy. Flareon makes it easy. Alright. That wasn't that bad. We are gonna heal up, of course. The second person, Koga. This is uh, another perfect matchup for uh, Jinx. And, um, Snowball here. Oh, Paralyze. I should have bought some more of these items, honestly. Did I? I, I mean, I got full of heals. 
So we got that going for us. I think... I think I should start off with Snowball. No, never mind. I'm gonna start off with Mrs. Popo. Alright, Koga, what you got for us? Because Quick Claw Glowlum is gonna be a surprise. As it, I, I mean, I think it should be a surprise. I would appreciate it if it was uh, more of a surprise. I need it to be surprising. But alright, you got an area dose. I want everybody to say it with me. Psychic. Alright, using Psychic. He should be relatively easy until that fortress comes out here. Nice. Yeah, he would be an asshole and send it out next. Alright, let's go snowball. Spikes. Man, setting up the entry hazards. <laughs> That's crazy. But that fire punch should do a lot. I don't think it'll kill it in one hit because Golem has trash special attack. Never mind, I'm wrong. Alright, one hit KO. I'll take it. Muck. I'm not afraid of Muck. I have Earthquake. Yeah, getting a little shaky around here. I love it. It does need to be a one-hit KO, though. Alright, great. It was. Alright. I don't remember the moves of the Venomoth. Because if this Venomoth have... If it got Giga Drain, that's... Ugh. I'm not gonna risk it. Just send out a, a Brobat. The Crowbat. Orange. Oh, just toxic, nothing to worry about. It's alright. That's what I'm talking about. The one hit KOs. Love to see it. That last Pokemon is Crobat. Okay, Koga. Okay. A full restore. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I just gotta spam my Swift now because he got two double teams under his belt. So this is another one of those battles. It could have been scary, but it's not scary. I mean, unless he gets a crit. That critical hits are the only thing that could stop me from winning this battle right now. Because critical hits, they, they ruined my day. But the second Elite Four member, Done. Gone. Get him out of here. It could have been scary had that uh had I not had Swift. That could have swiftly got out of hand, uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm probably the funniest person I know. Cause my jokes, they they hit their mark. Like Swift. Yeah. <laughs> and we are going to keep um, Miss Popo out in the front because I know this guy in Pokemon Crystal well probably the same in uh, Crystal and Silver he leads off with the Hitmontop so I mean I mean that's why we got Miss Popo we said Miss Popo was going to play a huge part in the Elite Four and she has not disappointed yet Hitmontop spinning around, alright. 
I got your Beyblade. Yeah, that's a one hit KO. Hitmonchan. I think this would be a one. Oh shit, my punch. I mean, we should live that nicely. I don't know how I feel about that. That actually did a lot of damage. But man, I just don't know if... I mean, Onyx, I'm not afraid of Onyx. One Ice Punch is more than enough for Onyx. But I don't know, man. I don't know if, you know, Machamp... Oh, man. See, Machamp is one of those oddballs, man. Like, Machamp is bulky. It'll catch you off guard bulky. And I just don't want to take a cross chop. I'm afraid of a cross chop. We're switching to bro back. Confuse it. Wing attack him to Oblivion. And then would you look at that? It hit the cross chop. See, I was right to switch out. So we're gonna use Confuse Ray. Because Machamp has no guard. That's a that's a uh, fourth generation joke right there. Alright. Because we also don't want to take a, a rock slide either. I thought I put fly on this thing. Oh, please hit yourself. Yes, crisis averted. So seeing how much that wing attack did, psychic definitely could have killed the uh, the Machamp. But I'd rather play it safe and switch out like I did. Crobat should be able to finish this battle off quite easily. And we do. So that's the third member down. Alrighty then. Okay, so the fourth and last member of the Elite Four. She leads off with a uh, Umbreon. I'm going to lead off with Brobat. Let me heal up real quick. Uh, Brobat should be okay. You know what? Nah. Nah. Let me see. Uh, look like I organized my bag. Alright. I'm going to just use a Hyper Potion for like, what, 18 HP? Quick maths. Alright, but this should be fine. I'm saving a uh, snowball here for that Hound Doom and Murkrow. I could possibly get a earthquake and a rock slide or rock throw on it. And then if Umbreon is proven to be too difficult, I can just uh, you know switch around a little bit. All right, let's go, Karen. I probably should have let off with Flareon instead of uh, Brobat here. Brobat, the Crobat. I'm gonna start this thing off with a Confuse Ray. in the sand attack, huh? Alright, I mean, that's decent damage. I can live with that kind of damage, uh, fighting the Umbreon. Actually, the way this is looking already, one more wing attack, I should be able to knock this thing out. 
Absolutely. Nice. Gengar? Oh, that's perfect. Karen's Gengar sucks. I mean, I think it has Lick, Confuse Ray, Hypnosis, and freaking Dream Eater. Like, man, the moves are so bad. The Double Flinch. That's amazing. She's probably saving that Max Potion for the um, Hound Doom. That Hound Doom is really scary, by the way. Okay, that did decent damage. Okay, okay. Crobat is Crobat's making this uh pretty easy. Alright, now here's the hound doing here. using flamethrower all right let us see how much this uh how much damage this is that's a lot of damage all right let's switch out um i mean snowball is looking like the obvious pick here too but i'm gonna go ahead and switch into the fralligator here and hopefully get off a good serve Okay, a critical hit, burn, all right. Okay. That sucked. That really sucks. All right, let me try a serve, see how much damage it does and Hopefully, I can survive a crunch after burn damage. Oh boy, I'm so happy that was a one-hit KO. I'm so happy that was a one-hit KO. Cause man, I was scared for a second. I was, I was kind of scared for a second. All right, but it's Vile Plume. Vile Plume isn't scary. I can send out Amber and then. Um, Use a fire blast, and that should be the end of this. All right, there we go. There we go. That's Karen. We did it. We did it. That Hound Doom was almost like super scary, but we did it. Okay. Let me heal up real quick. Lance is next, and um, not gonna lie, I'm super nervous, man. Extremely nervous right now. Cause it's Lance, you know? Who's not like a little shaky about Lance? Lance and his three Dragonites, man, they are something. But I am going to teach for Alligator Ice Punch. going to take away bite well I can't use mud slap right now so I mean should I take away mud slap nah mud slaps huge slash is a really good move too I'm gonna, I'm gonna take away bite 
All right. Um, I said I was going to be teaching Flareon Shadow Ball. I'm going to put a pin in it for right now. I'm going to put a pin in it. Um, but let me get my lineup ready for Lance, though. So, I know Lance leads off with the Gyarados. I guess Pidgeot. Yeah, I gotta lead off with the Pidgeot. Man, I am so nervous right now. But why? Golem... Golem has his work cut out for him. I can't use Earthquake, so my best move is Rock Throw. Honestly, once I get past the, once I get past the Gyarados Drag or Ice Punch is looking really promising for this team. I just gotta keep Golem alive. I feel like Golem and Jinx would be huge for this battle. But here's the Gyarados. I'm gonna just straight away go for the fly. Let's see what he does. Rain dance. I should have used wing attack first. All right, so we got a, a, a rain dance Gyarados here. Flail. I'm gonna use quick attack. Hopefully he uses flail again. safe okay wing attack is enough but unfortunately Pidgeot is done okay which Dragonite is this is this the Thunder or Blizzard Dragonite That's a, man, is it the Thunder or Blizzard Dragonite? Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to switch into Amber. If it's Thunder... If it's Thunder, I could just switch back out into the gold. If it's Blizzard... Okay, alright. Okay, that was a lot of damage. That was too much damage. I can't use Flareon anymore either. Oh, man. That's actually a good thing. That's actually good. Okay, so a Rock Throw. Rock Throw is nice. Twister? Twister's not very strong, but if I flinch, this could get out of hand really fast. Okay. I missed. Alright, it's part of the game. Missing is part of the game. Flinching is part of the game. Okay, all right, um, oh boy, oh boy, all right, Fralligator, you need to take a, you need to take a twister, buddy. Okay. Alright. 
All right. I was kind of... That was a huge risk because... That Dragonite had Thunder. All right. This Dragonite... Which one is it? This one has Blizzard. And we're just going to use Ice Punch again. Because that's why it's here, you know? Okay, another one-hit KO. I shouldn't be surprised about that one-hit KO, but... For Alligator, special attack is low. Well, mine isn't. 116 ain't bad. But still, that's a Dragonite. Okay, this is his third and final Dragonite here. Ice Punch again. Okay. Oh, that was a crit. Alright, huge critical hit. Huge. But I think, I think this is it. I think this battle is over now. I think this battle is over. Those Dragonites, man. Those, oh boy. All three of them are extremely scary. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. All right. And one more serve. Bro, if he gets an Omni Boost off this Ancient Power. Okay, he got the boost. That, that's a pretty big boost. He's gonna fire off a Hyper Beam. For alligator, don't you die on me. Oh. Oh boy. That was a lot closer than what it looked. That was a lot closer than it looked. But ladies and gentlemen, we got through the Pokemon Crystal Pokemon League without a single death. I love that for us. I love that for us. Throughout this whole series so far, we got only three deaths. Super excited about that. Oh man. I didn't even use Jinx or Crobat in that battle. Jinx was gonna get sent out and just, you know, die. Jinx was going to be my, my revenge uh, switch in. But boy, oh boy, we got through it. Oh man, that was so close. Look at this. This place, sort of, kind of, it sounds like home. It does. It does. We got in the Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen. Really surprised we got through that thing, Deathless. Um... But now that we're in the Hall of Fame, we get to actually take on the Kanto side. Um, I don't think I'm going to do what I did throughout this series on the Kanto side or on the Johto side. I don't think I'm going to do it on the Kanto side. So on the Kanto side, I think I'm only going to record encounters and gym battles. So I am going to end this video right here getting inducted into the hall of fame the next video i'm gonna do it's gonna be like i said encounters and um whatever kanto gym i take on first i am going to respect the level caps so this team right here that i'm using right now or the team that i just used i probably won't pull back out until um i fight red and honestly, when I fight red, I might just mix up the uh, the two teams that I got to, you know, level up. Because the level caps and the Kanto gems, they're kind of, they're different. They're not like the Elite Four. They actually go up and down. So I'm going to make a team for the Kanto side. And then, um, you know, when I fight red, put my teams together. And you know, 
try to fight red. But that's the plan. Um, this challenge has definitely been a challenge. It's not even over yet. But if you have made it this far watching all these videos on this series, I greatly appreciate it. You know, give it a nice uh, like, comment, you know, share the good news out there. Share these, you know, good videos, this awesome content with, uh, you know, your friends and whatnot. Um, like usual, be safe, be careful, tell someone you love them. And until next time, peace out.